soon as any motorcycle announced this new chief, I was super excited. People wanted a stupid fast V-twin American machine to come out. We needed something bigger and faster than the Scout, and it happened, and it's incredible. Uh, my name is Estrella. I'm from Fresno, California, and I own a Indian Scout Bobber and a Indian FTR 1200S. My name is Enrique Oropesa. I'm also known as Ricky. I live in Austin, Texas, and I own a 2018 Indian Scout Bobber. My name is Seth Bowman. I'm from Fargo, North Dakota, and I ride a 2015 Indian Scout and a 2019 FTR 1200R. My name is Levi Sandoval. I'm a firefighter, and I live in Denver, Colorado. I own a 2018 Indian Scout Bobber. My name is Tyler Howard. I live in Moorhead, Minnesota. I ride a 2016 Indian Scout 60 and a 2015 Indian Scout. I was always drawn to motorcycles as a kid. Then I joined the military right out of high school. And once I actually started riding, I'm like, this is this is who I am. This is who I'm meant to be, is ride motorcycles. For me, I'm a firefighter, I see a bunch of stuff. And you could hop on a motorcycle and your mind is just clear. When I was using a bike, I wanted to be American. And then I started reading all these reviews. And everybody that got on the bike, no matter which bike they rode, the same expression, like, oh my God, it's a small bike, but so much power. Look at the handling, I was sold immediately. I've always loved Indians. It's just a beautiful bike. They just look really classic. We were talking about this a lot on the way down from the scout perspective that so many people are graduating from the Scout. They want to get into something a little bit bigger, but they're not comfortable going to something big like a Challenger or a Chieftain or a Springfield. So they want something in between. And it's so cool that Indian Motorcycle finally gave that mid-size platform. Seeing the Indian Chief in person, that huge engine surrounded by that beautiful steel frame, it's really something else. Smooth ride and the handlebars being up so high, I could ride a longer distance. The digital display was awesome too. It does feel very similar to the Scout in general, just a little bigger, a bit heavier. I feel like it's a little more comfortable so you can go on longer rides. I think the Scout is a good first bike and then if you're ready to move up to the Chief, that's a good idea. If somebody got on the Chief as a 111 as a first starter bike, it's totally doable. And then you can graduate into doing cams and building it up to a stage two and get up to that 116 level without having to even trade out bikes. The Indian Chief is a powerhouse, absolute powerhouse. When you want to open up that Indian Chief, oh man, does she roar. Absolutely does she roar. It has everything that I love in the Scout, the nimbleness, the power, the looks, plus it has all these little features that's gonna make my long distance travels a lot easier. It's crazy riding through Sedona we all come from different backgrounds and we all love Indian motorcycles. So that's what brought us together here and we're all gonna have friendship forever.